Hey gang, I am at the Pathfinder School right now waiting for class to start in the morning and uh, I wanted to go ahead and get a video together for the 7500 sub giveaway. I actually went over 7500 early last week, maybe late the week before that. Uh, last time I checked was 7515 or something along those lines. And uh, I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to give away that 20 liter kit that I built. I bought enough stuff to have two of those. And uh, instead of putting one in my other vehicle, I am just going to go ahead and give you the kit that I made on camera. Uh, if you didn't see that video, I'll go ahead and append that footage to the, to the last half of this video so you don't have to go look for the video again. Uh, but anyway, for 7,500 500 subs, I'm going to give away that 20 liter kit that I bet, built. Uh, it's actually a starter kit. Uh, you'll need to add some stuff to it uh, based on your own personal preferences. And you'll need to put some provisions in there because I built that thing uh, primarily to be a car kit. And, uh, you know, just in case you get stranded someplace. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to give away, I'm going to give away that kit that I did on camera. So here's the rules. Stand by to copy. Uh, you must be a subscriber. Uh, if you've got your subscriptions locked down so I can't see that you're a subscriber, then sorry about your luck. So you might want to release that particular security setting, uh, at least for next week. Uh, you got to comment on the video, this video. Uh, one comment counts. If you make 15 comments, it still only counts as one. And then on Tuesday, when I get back home, I will go ahead and cut that off Monday evening when I get home. And on Tuesday, I will go ahead and pick a winner. And I'll use a random number generator to pick a number between one and however many comments there are in the video at that particular time. And uh, whatever video or whatever comment you're at, if uh, you are the lucky number, you will get that 20 liter kit. I was going to be chintzy and just give away part of it, but I decided I'm just going to go ahead and give away the whole kit. So, I will append the, vi the video to this video. So, if you've already watched it once, you don't need to watch it again. Uh, but if you haven't watched the video, you will not need to go and find that uh, original video, which was only on Monday, I think. Uh, but you won't have to go search for it, because it's going to be appended to the back of this video. So... Thank you all for your views. Thank you for your support. And thank you for subscribing. We finally got to 7,500. Uh, 10,000, I'm give away a knife. So the quicker we get to 10,000, somebody's, somebody's going to win a knife. And I don't know what knife it's going to be. I've got several that I've never been out of the box. So it's going to be one of those. So without further ado, thanks for your views. Thank for your support. Uh, I appreciate you guys supporting the channel through the other ways, going through the uh, links in uh, in the description box, uh, buying stuff from SRO, buy, using my link, buying stuff from my Amazon store, uh, buying stuff from Teespring with Salty Dog logos on it, uh, all that stuff. I appreciate it. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Uh, so, without further ado, here's the video, and uh, good luck to you all. I have a box from Self-Reliance Outfitters. This is the beginnings of that 20 uh, liter dry bag kit that I was going to make for my wife to carry in the car with her. And it came while I was gone, so it's been sitting here for, I don't know, a week or maybe two now sorry but you also notice that everything in here is doubled because I think I might give some of the stuff away my camera is very unstable where it is sorry about that I need to get me one of them gantry rigs Anyway, you will see everything in here is doubled. We'll take all the stuff out. Paracord. Bank line. A knife. Two knives. Q 
two utility blankets. And these are actually the uh, bottle of cooking sets. Uh, it had several things in it that I needed to put in these kits, but it was already all packaged together. So I bought them as a unit. And of course, 20 liter dry bag. Yay, an unboxing video. One of the things I don't like. All right, let's separate this stuff out. We're gonna need one of you, 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 and one of you. Wow, probably should be careful. I'm just throwing this stuff at my chair, just so you know, that's what the pounding is. All right, let's get to opening and thinking and talking about the mentality behind all this stuff. Okay, so we've got a 20 liter dry bag. This is the larger dry bag that Self Reliance Outfitters has. This is the one that comes with the backpack straps, so you can carry it like a backpack. But the thing I like about this is, that number one, it's it's a backpack. First of all, it's a dry it's a dry bag, which is important. Uh, so you can actually use this to carry all your gear in, and you can also use this as a container for if you need to haul some water, if you need to melt some snow, if you need to do some of those things. So, multifunctionality always important. And in a pinch, you can take all of your gear out of this and trap some air in there and use this as a flotation device, which I actually had to do one time at an event. I carry two or three of these things in my van. Uh... And they've all held up well. Uh, I've heard some folks who have broken the who have broken the clips and all all those kind of things. But I actually think that's uh, maybe a little bit of abuse because I have never broken one of these, and I'm not easy on anything. And normally I would adjust these all the way down so they're as short as they go, but that's uh, pretty much pretty close as it is, uh, because my wife is not a large lady, so she will need these straps to be as short as they possibly are if she's going to carry it like a backpack, which I don't anticipate her doing. This is more of a kit that's based to keep in your car and have some things if you get stranded. Now, of course, with all the stuff that I would have in here, I would add some kind of rations or something along those lines. Uh, the water bottle will already be full, those kind of things. Uh, I've selected basic, your basic bank line, 36, so you can break this down into smaller units if you need it. And it's large enough to, to use for heavy-duty stuff. And, of course, paracord, uh, good for ridge lines and tying things closed and doing all those kind of things that you might have to do in a car emergency. Got a Mora Companion here, and I was going to go with 511s, but 511s are out of stock, so I went with Companions. Didn't go up quite high enough on that one. I'm not going to fight with this thing, because it's a Mora. It'll be razor sharp coming out of the package, and I don't want to bleed in the video.
This comes with the molded sheath. Locks in there pretty good. And I went with the new survival blanket. And I'm not going to go for trying to get this as small as I can possibly get it because it's a 20 liter dry bag. And like I said, this is meant to be a vehicle kit. Back in there pretty tight. All right, so we're not going to be gentle. And last but not least, what I'm putting in here for starts is this bottle cooking kit. And this comes in its own bag. I got earth brown because I don't have very many earth brown things. I'll be honest with you. Lid for the cup. 32 ounce bottle. Thirty-two ounce cup, or bottle for the thirty-two uh, cup for the thirty-two ounce bottle, and the and the twig stove, or alcohol burner, or whatever you want to put under there for your heat source. This also comes. With the larger ferro rod, the HD6, that's a half inch by six inches long, with the new tungsten striker, a bottle hanger, which is actually a fish mouth spreader, a utensil kit, and some mini inferno's. Now my wife knows how to use all this stuff. It's important if you don't know how to use it to practice with it before you need it. And that right there is the whole starter kit that I'm putting together for my wife. And I stress starter kit. There would be things you have to add to this, uh, like some kind of food, some kind of probably hot drink mix, uh, some soup uh, bases, things like that. So you can stay uh, fed and happy in your vehicle if you're trapped for a little while. Uh, I didn't put a compass in here because we're dealing with it, deal with a vehicle kit. And this is primarily for my wife. She's not going to be off established roads and things like that. So she's not really going to need a compass, uh, to find her way around because she's just going to walk the road. Um, and I think that's really about it for the kit for right now. Uh, like I said, uh, you would add things to this based on your own personal preference, based on your own experience level. And... That's uh, basically what we got going. I'm going to go ahead and I have a large, a loud vehicle going down the road in front of me. In front of my house. Let me put this all together. I usually take these lids and either turn them upside down in the bottom of the bag or put them in, this, or put them in the pocket. And I think that's what we'll do for the wife is put that in the pocket. Now this bag leaves you enough room where you could actually put a bottle stove or something in here, uh, a small burner. Uh, it's really good for the bottles and the, for the isobutane bottles and the and the uh, titanium stove. The utensil kit not one hundred percent necessary more of a morale item than anything else comes in handy if you're eating drinking making coffee things along those lines which uh if i, I keep one of these in my van and i usually keep a couple couple of uh envelopes of of three in one coffee uh hot chocolate things like that in there
fire starting and utensils I would keep in this front pocket here along with like I said a couple of uh, packets of maybe uh, soup base uh, hot chocolate coffee things along those lines Yay, yay. You're in a lot of trash. Now, I suggest, if you do something like this, you go th go ahead through and put, uh, put a cordage loop in each one of these grommets ahead of time. Probably that doubled over or with a lark's head, extend out about four to five inches from the corners of the tarp. Uh, so you get a got a set ready to go i would also add some stakes to this uh, so if you had to make a shelter you could but it's like i said since this is primarily going to be a vehicle kit for my wife uh she's going to use this to wrap up in if she gets cold in the vehicle This is really only going to take up maybe half of this bag. So you've got room in here to throw a blanket if you want one. Uh, I would suggest if it's a car kit, I wouldn't suggest we're going with some heavy wool thing. I would go something with synthetic, uh, a puffy blanket. feeding this stuff down in here so it fills up the bottom and keeps the unit round and there you have it less than half I don't know if you can see that or not but it's full less than halfway I still got a, a full elbow width to go to the top close this down I'm gonna burp it force all the air out of there then I'm gonna give it a couple of rolls Close this thing up. Now you've got a watertight kit. Just lay in the back of your vehicle and wait for the disaster to happen. 20 ounce kit. Or 20 ounce. <laughs> 20 liter, not 20 ounce. And that is all. Hope to see you in the woods.